Hey everyone, it's Christian here again with another palm review, and this time I'm doing Adelaia Failorata. And I will go ahead and uh, spell that up in the title. And th this genus of palm, Adelaia, is a large genus that is uh, native to Central and South America. They go anywhere from Central to Southern Mexico down into Central Brazil. They have quite a range, uh, and they are some of the they are kind of the giants of the americas and they're more commonly known as an oil palm uh, depending on the species they have different uh, types of names but this is typically used as an oil palm in the americas and probably the most prominent of oil palms as far as oil production uh, there's a couple other uh, species that are used uh, other i'm sorry other genera that are used for oil but as far as these go these are probably the most uh, prominent just because there's a the sheer number of them. So Phalerata, um it's going to be native to, uh, if I can get the exact locations right, I believe it goes in from uh, Campeche and Quintana Roo in Mexico down into uh, Nicaragua. I could be wrong about that, but I believe that's its range. It's not a southerly uh, range palm. You know what? Don't even ca count me out on the range thing. I'll have to look that up and I'll get back to you because I it may be Brazilian. The problem is it can be hard to tell at times. It's easier to tell when you see the, the, the fruit, the, the flowering. Um, but with that said, uh, we can see some of the characteristics of Adelaide's. And here, if you can look, you have the pinnate leaflets, which some are plumose and some are, some are just pinnate. And so that will tell you, um, that will give you some species different, uh, differential. Uh, it'll be able to tell you the difference between some of the species. For example, Adelaide. Uh, Buteracea is a plumose plant, and it's have very stiff, upright leaflets. These are pretty floppy. You know, they're not gonna, they're not giving much. But the terminal leaflet here, the last leaflet, you can see is a thicker one with a little bit of a window pane uh, situation going on there. And that is very typical of most Adelaides. And these get quite. This is a juvenile. This palm is probably, if it's been growing well, about five or six years old, and. It has these kind of this kind of volcanic-like look where it's erupting out of the ground, and its base is subterranean. And as a result, it actually is quite cold-hardy. At least the the stem is for quite some time until it comes out of the ground and starts to trunk. And when these plants trunk, they get massive. They're huge. I can see if I can uh, bring a picture up of their the the leaf bases are probably as wide as my shoe, and I wear a size 11, so uh, they get. They just get absolutely massive, and that's what makes them so desirable. But they do take a while to get that uh, way. They will take at least 20 years. But they look pretty in the process, this volcanic sort of eruption thing going on. So uh, with this uh, species, with Phalerata, you'll get this kind of mealybug look going, where it looks like mealybugs have kind of attacked the, the petiole, I'm sorry, the rachis. And, but that's just natural. That's the way that it emerges and it holds that color. You can see it's on here and here. That's not any sort of deficiency or any sort of bug. Now it kind of comes up to straight, just that whitish uh, fuzz. And down and cut towards the bottom of the petiole, you'll see just straight green. And there's a little, let's see if we can zoom in on him. Did I get him? There he is. A little tiny anole hanging out looking for some kind of insect. And that's actually the newest spear on the plant right there. If you can see, he's hanging out on the newest spear and uh, that'll emerge in time. Now these plants, let's zoom out here a little bit. These palms, they're 95% they're, of them are quite large. There's a couple species that actually stay on the ground. There's one called Adelaide humulus. It's kind of rare, it's from Brazil. Uh, and it is just kind of humulus meaning of the ground. So it does stay on the ground, does not get a trunk as a trunkless plant, so uh, trunkless palm. But you'll see a bunch of seeds kind of just hanging out on the ground there, like a dwarf. So it's, it's neat. This probably will not produce any. Each Adelaide has its own time period in which it'll produce seed. Some will produce it as soon as they start to form trunk. Some have to wait till they get about four or five feet of clear wood. Uh, and seeds can differ in size quite a bit as well. The seeds of this plant are relatively small for this, the genus. They're about the size of uh, like a key lime. Now some Adelaides can get it the size of your fist and they can weigh up to half a pound. They're, they're quite large. And they are, these are also in um, the 
the coconut family. They're related to coconuts, uh, butias, cyagras. Uh, they're definitely some of the prettier ones in the uh, the subfamily, and they are uh, they're desired. They're, there's a big market for these in uh, South Florida, the, the big ones as uh, landscape structural plants, and rightly so. They're they're beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this palm a this Adelaide phalarata, this particular species, 7.5 out of 10. Um, there's some Adelaides that are a little bit prettier. They have some more color to them. The leaflets are a little more broader. Uh, the seed is relatively hard to germinate. It does take a while. You need a, quite a bit of heat. You need to make sure you have it properly cleaned. Uh, and it does need a, quite a uh, extensive deep root. Uh, it, 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 sorry, it makes a quite extensive deep root system. So uh, it's a little bit of a downside. It, it take up a decent amount of room. Uh, for someone who's just having like a, a, a potted garden and it does take a long time for it to grow. With that said, once you plant it out in say a three gallon pot, it's relatively easy easy care and you get a nice looking plant that uh, stays around for quite some time at, at eye level. So with that said, I'll leave that there. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more, if you have any questions or like to see more of these uh, reviews and hope you have a good evening.